This video is a follow-up to my last video on factoring trinomials with a leading coefficient of one. One more situation we need to cover real quick. Here I have a trinomial. Leading coefficient is one. This tells me my signs are the same. This tells me they're both positive. So I go through the numbers that multiply together to give me 49. And I'm trying to find two that add together to give me 14. One times 49 is 49, but one plus 49 is 50. Two won't go into 49 because it's not even. Three won't go into 49 because it won't go into the sum of the digits. Four plus nine is 13. Three won't go into 13, so I know three won't go into 49. Four won't go into 49, it's not even. Five won't go into 49, it doesn't end in five or zero. Six won't go into 49. Seven will go into 49. Seven will go in there seven times. So seven times seven is 49, seven plus seven is 14. So those are the numbers I'm looking for. What I needed to point out is this. If these match n plus seven times n plus seven, then that is not simplest form. This is simplest form, n plus seven squared. Let's look at one more. All right, so I'm looking for two numbers whose multiplies together to give me four and adds together to give me four. That should be pretty easy. One times four is four, one plus four is five. Two times two is four, two plus two is four. So my numbers are two and two, they match. So that's not simplest form. Simplest form is x plus two squared. So, in order to know how to factor trinomials, see my last video on factoring trinomials with a leading coefficient of one, but I neglected to put this in there, which is what happens when you get a square. When you get a square, simplest form is writing it as squared, like this one, x plus two squared. Thank you.